Well, hi everyone, I'm Tracy Patton and this is another episode of Sizzle in the Middle. And today, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk about dating. And I'm here with Kim Seltzer, who is, well, she's a dating expert, right? I guess you could call me that, an expert coach. Great, so Kim, I have to, I have to tell, well, first tell us who, who you work for and all of that. Yeah, I work with David Wygant, and he's one of the top LA, um, well, he says gurus, dating coaches of LA. And he actually has um, boot camps for, for men and mm -hmm. women, and he does private coaching and phone coaching. And so I have joined him as part of his team, among other coaches, but I'm the only female coach. And we're really going to... How much fun is that? Yeah, yeah. You know, a couple weeks ago, I saw Kim speak. Through, she did this presentation at the um, Sports Club LA with all these men, and it was a singles event. And so she did a whole thing on dating and gave really great tips. So the thing I remember is the walking thing. So let's just kind of just jump into it and talk about the, the, the tips. The tips. Well, I, I, one of the things that I talked about is how we come across to other people. Yeah. And, and we're not always aware of how we're coming across. And so to pay attention to your body language when it comes to dating, you know. Now um, I want to sit up straight. Yeah, so you got to sit up straight. Um, it is sitting up straight too, right? Well, sitting up straight, I mean, it's all about confidence. Yes. And you know, when you yes. sit up straight, there is a confidence that kind of exudes from you. So um, one of the things that I, well, we talked about was the walk. I, I love favorite. that. I mean, yeah. and I have to say, I've been walking down the street a little differently now because of what Kim said Maybe about paying attention. I, I don't know. I just feel good. Okay. I yeah. mean, when I'm walking, I, I now I walk with this awareness of my walk in that to make sure that I'm walking with determination exactly. and confidence. So, exactly. okay. So what, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, slow down. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. I mean, okay. there's nothing worse, and, and this applies for both men and women. When you see a man or a woman scurrying across the road or looking down, hands in the pocket, first of all, it's not sexy. And then you're sitting there texting and whatever. That's not too sexy. Well, either. right, because what does that say? You're not attentive. Exactly. Right? Okay. And it's about being attentive. And with that walk, it's noticing what's around you, who's around you, uh -huh. and and taking that in, being in the moment. And we teach that yeah. a lot, you know, David Wygant and all the coaches, is about being in the moment and paying attention to what's around you because especially in this society and in LA especially, we're all caught up in doing our own thing, um, getting to the next point, and we're not, right. we're not in the yeah, moment. That's so true. Okay, so when you're walking down the street, let's right. get to brass tacks because we've got a lot of single sizzle chicks watching right now. Sizzle chick is my sizzle. term. I love it. Which means essentially hot. going for it. Well, hot for sure. <laughs> sizzle. And and women that are confident and that are that are going for it, that are living their lives to the to the fullest. So this is definitely putting the, the walk in the component is, is, is walk the talk. <laughs> walk the talk. So what do we have to do? So, okay, so then you're slowing down. Okay. Um, also, make eye contact. Okay, make see, that is so contact. key. Yeah, so often we're either, like you said, with our phones, we're looking down, whatever, or often if there's like a hot guy or vice versa, a hot girl, it's like people look in the other direction. because the it, it, and, it, and it's something that I think a lot of people do, not even realizing that they do it. But if you really take a moment and make eye contact with that person, how powerful that okay, is. And so guys pay attention to that, believe me. You know, it is kind of funny sometimes, and you probably know this, you've noticed this happening, where you're, when you're a little more attentive, you might notice somebody noticing you. When, when you're normally just walking down the street, not paying attention, when you do pay a little more of attention, then or pay a little more attention, there there are people that do notice, and then all of a sudden it's like this nice synergy that can happen. That's right, and it's also giving the signal to people that hey, I'm open, I'm available, I'm friendly. That's a whole other show. Well, right, and <laughs> I could do a whole other to a whole other talk on that. <laughs> I think we do. I think we could we get into this mode of being kind of shut down. Yeah. So we have to kind of open ourselves back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so tips for you. The walk, slow down, notice your surroundings, be in the moment, and eye contact. Eye contact. What, anything else? Um, well, I when mean, we I know finally, you could talk for hours. I know, but. I could talk for hours. But finally, when we when 
when you do approach and there is conversation after that walk is to give that body language that you are interested. And that could be something, a, a light touch. Okay. Right. Smiling, smiling, that is That's huge. That's the biggest thing. Huge. You should just teach a boot camp on smiling. On smiling. <laughs> <laughs> practicing See, smiling. Look how pretty the smile. It's so, it, and it comes from the inside out. As, yeah. as you, and we're going to do on our next episode with Kim, uh, talk about the image consulting and about about the inside out and how important that is. And that's important in in the dating thing where you're feeling good inside. That's right. That's right. And and really that's what it's about because you truly can't be open for a relationship or even dating unless you're happy and content within yourself. Okay, do you have good stories? We don't have a whole lot more time, but do you have any? And you do stories. have that story, the one you told that night about the, the woman who, who, who gave uh, the, the look, eye, oh, the I eye contact that. story. That's my, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Is that a short enough story we could tell right now? I could, I could make Okay, it we're going to so, tell it right now because I know you want to know this story. So I'm single too, and um, when I first was getting out into the single world after my divorce, it was a very scary place, and um, I thank God somebody introduced me to another single person that I ventured out with, and really, I learned from her, I think, the true value in the whole body language and, and being comfortable in your own skin. Um, she's beautiful, but it wasn't just that she was beautiful, it was the way she used her body and her eyes, and I'll never forget, and this is the story I told, we um, walked in the bar, this was probably my second night out and um, I, I just remember her kind of following her with like notes, you know, trying to, trying to well, it's good oh, to have a mentor. That's, that's yeah, true. exactly. Well, and this is how, we, and this is another thing we teach is find somebody who does it well and model them. I love that. Yeah. So anyway, she was my model and we, um, we were sitting at a bar and across the way, and it was seemed like it was forever away, really, really far in the distance. There was this cute guy that she, that she saw. And I mean, for me, I couldn't see anything. It was just like a big blob of people. Uh -huh. And she, she turns to me and she looks and she says, now he's hot. And I'm like looking, I'm like, oh yeah, I mean, he's cute, but, but he's young. And she's like, I don't care. And that's another show. And that's another show. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, all she did was give him a look. And I kid you not, within maybe a minute, there was a tap on her shoulder. I love this. I want to practice this. Okay, this this is so great. We we've got to wrap it up. Yeah. But this, I think we were going to go into the field and practice some of this stuff next time. Oh, I think great. it would be great. So, yeah. so stay tuned for that. Where can they find you? Well, you can go to um, www.davidwigant.com, and I'll have that on my site. And um, you can find all the services that we provide from private coaching, boot camps, seminars. And we have a lot of new, exciting stuff for women coming up. Okay, great. So sizzle chicks, go out there and practice your walk, practice being in the moment, practice that eye contact, practice smiling. And we'll see you next time. I'm Tracy Patton. This is Sizzle in the Middle.